Hi, my name is John with Ogbo. I'm an account manager here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys today how to upload your client list into the Ogbo software. Um, you want to make sure you are going to be in the recipients tab on the left here. And there's kind of two ways where you can upload uh, recipients into the software. Uh, first and foremost, we do recommend uploading a CSV list. Now, a CSV file is going to be a simplified version of an Excel sheet. Um, if you open up that file that you may have exported from your CRM, most likely it's going to be a CSV file. Um, but if you do need to convert that file, maybe your client list is exported from an Excel sheet, you want to open up that file in either Excel or even Google Sheets. And then you want to resave that file as a CSV file. Um, so when you upload your list here, we're going to go ahead and click on Upload CSV. I'm going to click here, drag and drop, or click to upload. I'm going to go ahead and click and upload a CSV file here. And whenever you upload a CSV file, you will have your corresponding columns that are from your CSV file here, and then the required columns that is needed for the software to pull. Um, all we're going to do here is just drag and drop these here. So first name, last name, phone number. And this is all you would actually need. Um, but we're going to add in an email as well. So you can either have first name, last name, phone numbers, first name, last name, emails, or both. So I'm going to go ahead and add both. I have another column here for tags. Tags are gonna be a great way to organize your client list. Um, so as an example, um, if this list was coming from um, a realtor client, um, they would a great way to organize their list would be buyers, sellers, maybe rental properties, investment properties. That'd be a great way to organize um, your contacts there. We also have other required columns that you can add. Birthdays are great because our software does have the ability to send out birthday campaigns based on the birthdays that are added to that recipient, as well as an anniversary date. So these can vary from the type of industry that you are working from, uh, but uh, maybe it's the first time that they came into your store. Maybe it's the first time they closed on their home. That information could be used because we have um, a newsletter or anniversary campaigns that we'll send out based off this date. We're gonna scroll down below here. You have the option to keep the email, um, keep the phone number. Most of the time we will keep these checked off. We wanna go ahead and opt in that client. That's just gonna allow Ogbo software to reach out to these clients and send out these review requests. Um, and then the next one here is enrich existing data. I think this is super useful. We're gonna go ahead and click, check that. That's just gonna allow the software to go through that client list and see if there's any duplicates in that information or there's just any added data in that um, where it will deem it as unnecessary or um, extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and hit upload there. Um, in this case, hit cancel uh, for the purpose of this video. Um, so that's where you would be uploading your list. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in manually um, and click on some sections here. Um, so you can add individual clients into the software um, by entering their contact information here, email, phone number. I enabled the phone number, but all you need is actually a first name, last name, and an email address. And then the same thing like before, you can add tags, a birthday date, and an anniversary date there and then you just go ahead and click on opt-in there. And that's gonna upload that contact into the software. Now, whenever you upload any contacts into the software, they are going to start under the pending list here. And think of this as a wait list. The wait list um, will kind of house all your contacts in the software until they're ready to be activated. And there's kind of two ways that they can be activated here. Under actions, there will be a green check mark that you can click on and that will activate that client from the pending list into active, or you can let the software auto activate daily. And you just go ahead and toggle that on there. And then it's gonna pull this amount of recipients 
from this um, pending list per day and activate them. So right now it's set to 10. So 10 recipients are gonna activate every day um, from this pending list. You also have some deactivate options up here. Um, deactivate on open, and that's gonna deactivate that contact when they open up the email. We have de deactivate on click. So they would have to click on the email and that's when they would be deactivated. And the last one here is deactivate on click through. I do recommend deactivating on click through. That's gonna um, deactivate that client once they click through the email, they get to your funnel page, click on the stars and select the platform. Once they select that platform, we can assume that they are gonna leave that review on that platform and that's when they would be deactivated. Um, and just a quick reminder, the three different lists here, we have active, Everyone that's in the active list is currently receiving campaigns or is going through that campaign cycle. Pending is gonna be your wait list. So that's gonna house all of your contacts until they're ready to be activated. And then you have the inactive list. Inactive is gonna be anyone that has either opted out of your emails, um, they have gone through the campaign cycle and then finally been deactivated and not being sent any more communications or if anyone that has happened to leave a review and they kind of click through the software from the initial campaign. All right, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact support here at 1-888-723-5201 and they'd be able to help you out or you can reach out to your account manager uh, for, for any further questions. All right, take care.